Jacksonville Suns and Pensacola Blue Wahoos ready to play two at the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. Welcome to Suns Today. Up, up down the right field line, going back on it. It's carrying, carrying, and gone. Grand slam, Brady Shoemaker. Here's a swing and a high drive that's deep in the air to right. Well back and gone. Switch to Goodell, swung on, driven high and deep to center field. Chasing it down as Wilson still chasing. He dives and can he? Wilson with an amazing catch going deep into center field. That will end the inning. Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover alongside Marco Lanave. Glad to welcome you back to the baseball grounds of Jacksonville as we have Napa Friday family fireworks coming up after the game. It's Redshirt Friday, and Marco, not only will the Suns and Wahoos start this series, they'll get to play a doubleheader because of the rain we saw yesterday. And uh, fans can stick around after game one. It'll be about 30 minutes, and we'll start game two. First doubleheader here at the baseball grounds of Jacksonville this season. It is going to be exciting. And earlier this week, the Jacksonville Suns had a dramatic comeback win in their last game on Wednesday. Let's take a look back at all the highlights from Wednesday afternoon. Riddle is running for second. Pitch is swung on. A high fly ball that's deep to left. Well back and gone! Austin Dean with a two-run homer and the Suns now trail 8-5 to five here in the ninth. 3-2. High ball four and the Suns bring in their sixth run of the game. Roberts draws the bases loaded walk that scores Morze Sierra to make it an 8-6 ball game in the bottom of the ninth. Hits the pitch, swung on, a fly ball going high and into center field. Running in and not making the catch as Lee. It falls in for a hit. One run is in, two runs are in. Jeffrey Perez has tied this game with a two-run single in the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a line drive into right field for a base hit and the Suns will win. Peter Mooney scores. It's an RBI walk-off single by J.T. Riddle that delivers Jacksonville instant victory in the 11th. A final score today, the Suns 9 and the Biscuits 8. The Suns pulled out a dramatic victory in their last game, but the rest of the Southern League did get in baseball games on Thursday night. It was Tennessee defeating Biloxi 7-2. That dropped the Shuckers to a first-place tie with these Pensacola Blue Wahoos atop the Southern League South Division standings. Mobile defeated Mississippi 7-2, Mobile jumping a half game ahead of Jacksonville for third in the Southern League South Division standings. Over in the North Division, Jackson retaining first place with a 3-2 win over Chattanooga. Brett Ash with his fifth victory of the year, six strikeouts in six innings for the Generals. They remained a game and a half ahead of Montgomery, which snapped a losing streak begun here in Jacksonville with a 7-3 win over Birmingham. Mike Marjima homered for the victorious Biscuits. Now the Suns will try again facing the Blue Wahoos. They'll take a double dip tonight against the top pitching staff in the Southern League. And it all begins with Sal Romano for the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. He's one of the top ten Cincinnati Reds prospects coming into this season. And in game one, he'll be opposed by Jacksonville's Jake Esch, who has lost three starts during this month of May after his very strong start to the season in April. So it's Esch against Romano in game one of the doubleheader. And then following that, in game two, we'll see Chris Mazza back on the mound for the Jacksonville Suns. Mazza made a spot start last Sunday for Jacksonville, and he turned in five scoreless innings in his first ever professional start after always being coming, coming out of the bullpen. Mazza going in game two for Jacksonville, and he'll be opposed by Jackson Stevens, a hard-throwing right-hander for the Blue Wahoos in game two. He can really be a strikeout artist. He struck out seven Suns earlier this season in Pensacola. Well, we have a lot of baseball coming up between the Suns and the Blue Wahoos as they get set for this doubleheader. And also, we have the Napa Friday Family Fireworks coming up after Game 2 of the doubleheader. It's also Red Shirt Friday, and also there's a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars that's here at the baseball grounds. Keep your eyes on the field between games as Super Bowl champion and new Jaguars defensive end Malik Jackson will be throwing out a ceremonial pitch prior to Game 2. You won't want to miss that. He's also a former Tennessee volunteer. Had to get that in there. But we're going to have a great night of baseball as the Suns and the Blue Wahoos again play two games, and you want to make sure you share your experience with us on social media. Like the Jacksonville Suns Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, at Suns Baseball, tag us on both, and share your experience at the ballpark. We'd love to hear from you. 
So we have two games coming up, two seven-inning contests between the Suns and the Blue Wahoos. If you're at the ballpark, just sit back and relax. We have baseball coming up. And also, if you're watching this online on the Suns' YouTube channel, all you have to do is go online to jacksons.com. There you can listen to the game through the Suns Baseball Network. You can also watch the game on MILB.tv. With Mark Illinave, I'm Roger Hoover. Thanks for watching Suns Today.